Still doing my morning making my bed routine. Okay, just woke up, about to go for a run. I'm really happy with my clean room um, habit that's going on at the moment. Doing really well making the bed every morning. Might be a little thing, but it's big for me, trust me. All right, off for a run. Whew, just got back from the run and I did what I call three peaks, which is this three kind of little hills, inclines around here. And they're really good. They're just really good for fitness and hills. Get some hills in your life, seriously. They're really, really good for you. So I'm gonna have a shower now, cold shower, and get on with the day. So a lot of you have been asking about the benefits of cold showers. Definitely go and check out Vertical Addiction's video on this top five benefits of cold showers. I'll link in the description below. Okay, just off to the beach and I got my vegan frothers hat on. This is from my friend Simone and Shane, you should check out their company, Vegan Frothers. And I got my top on as well. Off to collect mum because she's going away and then we're going to go for a swim. Can't wait for a swim. All right, it's beach day again. What are you looking at, mum? Mum's looking at a baby lizard and it's a little bit breezy but it's warm still. Mum's a bit of a horse, she's like, oh, 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 oh it's so cold. Oh. No, I said the wind was cold. Oh, no, she's all right. Doesn't like to be called a wuss bag. Should we go over here a bit? Go in the corner? Yeah, yeah. Well, there'll be others. Oh, the water's coming up. Fair distance. Mummy daughter day. Mum's going away for a little bit, so. Are you on that side? What's in there? <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's nature everywhere here. Look at the lizard right there. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? Hey, I, I just want to see. I just want to see what he does. I just want to see if there's any food in there. Leave him on. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, nah, no food in there. Looks like a girl though. I, I can't tell, but it's like a female. They're all building nests at the moment. Are they? Yeah. Oh, Such a sweet prehistoric looking bird, huh? It is prehistoric. Bird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just started kicking it back. It's not going to drag it off. Try it, try it. Actually, that's, oh. a, that's a very young one. See how broad it's combed. Oh, really? Well, pretty like gutsy for a young one. Yeah. Probably its first <laughs> just, year. Just not getting anywhere with that. <laughs> <laughs> that technique is not working. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> I tell you what, that beak looks like it could be quite sharp. Hurt a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. There's no food in there, is there? No, there's no food in there. <laughs> I think you're out of luck, buddy. <laughs> it's really ineffective. <laughs> yeah, that one is a young one. What's it? Oh! <laughs> Hey banana babes, just got back from the ocean and I'm just loving this beachy hair that I've got going on. The salt just makes it, I don't know, it gives me way more body, way more body and shine, so that's really nice. And I was thinking about the whole YouTube party is over, hashtag YouTube party is over, it is trending at the moment. It's about the demonetization of certain videos because they aren't advertiser friendly, you know, there's swearing in them or something like that, there's various rules. And it's kind of sad, it's kind of sad because you know, it's happened to me as well. There, um, a couple of my videos have been demonetized and I'm like, geez, how many more are going to be demonetized? And yeah, it is kind of sad because YouTube, 
you know, is going that kind of corporate way. You know, things are starting, starting to happen. I mean, it's always been corporate to some degree, but, you know, as the money comes in, you know, more censorship begins to happen, which is a shame because you can't be yourself as much. I mean, I'm all for censorship of, um, I'm not for freedom of screech, where people are just fucking screeching. And, you know, they're slandering people, just lying about them and shit like that. That's not okay. That's not helpful. That's not helpful to anyone. So when that's censored, yes. But when it's, you know, an expression of yourself, like you're, you know, you might put a swear word here and there and stuff like that. That's a little bit of a shame. And some users are definitely getting pretty hit hard by this new rule. Um, I mean, I remember back a decade ago when YouTube pretty much started, when I started on YouTube was like a decade ago. And it was a big old party, you know, there was no ads and it was, you know, pretty cool and everything like that. It was kind of more personal and people were like, hey, just watch my YouTube. And, you know, everybody kind of almost like knew everybody. Um, but now, you know, things change obviously and you need ads to be paid as well. So that's another thing to consider. But I just hope it doesn't go too far. You know, I hope YouTube doesn't go too far and really start you know, penalizing its biggest creators as well, because, you know, YouTube has to remember that there is, there is competition out there. There are other platforms that are coming up and being competitive with YouTube. So the big creators, if they don't get a good enough deal here for some reason, they're going to look for other platforms. So that's something that YouTube has to consider for sure. But I love YouTube. I fucking love YouTube. I think it's, it's amazing. Like it has changed my life so much. It can change any one of your lives out there. You know, if you want to do it as a profession, it's an awesome medium to, you know, get an empowering message out like veganism. It's just, it's fucking awesome. Especially seeing, you know, I used to work in a whole lot of jobs that not that I hated, but you know, I just wasn't happy. Like, I didn't feel like I, I was contributing to society that I was, you know, doing what I was truly passionate about, you know, being a living an abundant lifestyle and help, really helping people. I never used to feel like that, but now I really, really feel like that. And I love connecting with you guys every day. I think it's just like, it's, it means a lot to my life as well. It makes my life so much more purposeful. It's just so much richer and happier and, I love it. So I really do love YouTube, but I hope YouTube doesn't go too much in a censorship department. Anyway, that's what I just wanted to talk to you about quickly. And I'm gonna go and have some dinner. I'm gonna go and have some dinner with Mama Duck. And yeah, we're gonna read out the inspiration station. One of you banana babes came up with that name. Good job. Instead of lesson of the day, we've got um, inspiration station. So that is awesome. All right, see you soon. Okay, it's time for the inspiration station. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different and read out a letter, one of the letters that I've received from one of you guys, one of you banana babes, and um, let's get into it. So I just thought it was really inspirational. Dear Freely, I just wanted to say thank you again for helping to turn around my life, turn my life around. Two years ago, I was on the brink of suicide with a multitude of mental issues plus problems with food. After staying up watching your videos all night on November 3rd, 2014, I began my journey to health on the 4th. Thanks to you, I have regained my love for life and passion and passion for wanting to make others happy. The past two weeks in Thailand have been amazing and I'm so grateful to you and Jurian Ryder for hosting this incredible event. It's easy for me to say that if I hadn't come across this community, I wouldn't be here. I literally owe you my life. A million thank yous to you on behalf of me and my parents who no longer go to bed every night wondering if they still will still have a daughter when they wake up. Also, thank you for answering all of my questions truthfully and openly. You are the best. Lots of love and my eternal support, Brooke. P.S. Keep an eye out for me on the interweb. Brooke Rolf. Oh man, Brooke. That is so beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm just going to stop the video so I can turn it around onto my face. Brooke, thank you so much. I mean, like, it's just, it's amazing to get letters like this and to get feedback from you guys. It is, it's just incredible to know that, like, I can do something that, like, I really, I really love. I can do something that I love and that I'm passionate about, that I enjoy, and also, you know, have such a positive impact on others. Like, you guys, like, this is just, it's amazing, and help save, save a life. Like, I was on the brink of suicide years ago myself, so I can totally understand that feeling. I know that feeling. So, yeah, this is awesome. This is our little bit of inspiration for today. All right, I'm going to go to bed, and I will see you tomorrow. Um... Yeah, hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow.